Hello and welcome, welcome, welcome my mystical light beings, my favorite mystical light beings and welcome to Lena Mystic where we embrace our spiritual awakenings by identifying our personal power and authentic selves. Today's video is about the grasshopper spirit animal. My goodness, this spirit animal is so powerful and if the grasshopper has been showing up in your life stopping your day making you take pictures of it showing up in your home showing up in your dreams or on people's clothing or in people's houses then this message is totally for you even if you are drawn to the grasshopper then this message is for you the first thing i like to get into is always the curious facts so that you can know more about your grasshopper or your spirit animal's life so that you can connect to it and really understand why the spiritual symbolism is what it is. Now if you want to go ahead and read the full blog that I wrote about the grasshopper spirit animal, then you can check out my website, lenamysticoracle.com. So I'm not sure if many of you guys know, but grasshoppers actually go through a metamorphosis process. You may be familiar with this word when you think about dragonflies or even butterflies. It's pretty much the same thing with grasshoppers. They go through an incomplete metamorphosis. So you're not gonna see them in a cocoon, but you are gonna see them transform through their lives. They have the egg stage to the nymph stage and the adult stage. Their lifespan is actually only about 12 months, which is crazy to me because they have such a wise character. They have such a wise embodied spirit and it makes total sense. We'll get into why. So far, all research has found that grasshoppers start as an egg. The mother is known to lay around 10 to 30 eggs at one time and overall through the season about 100 eggs. These eggs can be found in places such as underneath let <laughs> underneath legs. <laughs> These eggs can be found underneath trees, leaves, sand, and even bark. Once they exit the embryo, they are considered to be nymphs which is such a beautiful name. I love the word nymphs. Nymphs are gonna look very similar to the adult grasshopper, which makes sense because they're kind of like a teenager. And if you recall your teenage pictures, if you're older than a teenager, you kind of look like how you're gonna look like, but it changes and transitions a lot, especially women. Like after we have kids, you know, our noses change, our feet change, like all of these things change. And that's, just think of that when you think of the grasshopper. The differences that you'll find in a nymph is that their wing pads haven't really been developed. Uh, their color may not be as bold as the adult grasshopper. And of course, their size is going to be different. And all of that's going to be different. What really keeps them from being an adult is that they don't have reproductive organs yet. Just like I talked about <laughs> with the teen or even before puberty, consider that the nymph. The nymph hasn't gone through that metamorphosis or that puberty yet to become an adult. During the stage of the nymph, they will have about five to six molts. Grasshoppers are changing tremendously during these molting processes. They're developing their wing pads, their reproductive organs, their color, their size. The nymph stage on average is gonna be around five to 10 days before they hit the adult stage. The adult stage normally on average lasts about two months. During this stage, their wings, reproductive organs, size, color, shape has pretty much developed. Now I know you guys probably heard me talking about wing pads and you're probably like, wait grasshoppers have wings yes they actually do have wings and they do fly that was beyond the scariest thing i heard because y'all know i don't like flying stuff that isn't like it doesn't look like it's supposed to fly <laughs> i don't like flying bugs like flying big bugs that really throws me off i don't know how you guys feel but like i don't like it this flying actually helps them when they're trying to escape from predators so you may not see them do it all the time but if you got a frog or something nearby or big old spider then you may see them fly instead of just hopping away a lot of you may not know this either but to keep away from their predators they will also spit and this spit is brown in appearance i'm not exactly sure what is in the substance I wish I had looked that up, but I'm not sure. If you guys know what's in that substance, then let me know because I know like stink bugs, their smell deters predators. Uh, so I guess the grasshopper's spit is deterring predators. 50% 
of grasshoppers in the nymph stage will not make it out of the nymph stage and that is because of the huge role that they play in our ecosystem in the food chain they play such a huge role i mean you have spiders birds lizards and even snakes i mean there's so many more animals that are eating these grasshoppers so they provide a lot of nourishment for the ecosystem and in the food chain so it's kind of sad but it's also the cycle of life that they really do give back to the ecosystem it's a beautiful and terrifying thought now you may have already noticed that there are two different types of grasshoppers these are like two different traits that are very noticeable if you're looking closely and that is that there are short horned grasshoppers and long horned grasshoppers the short horned grasshoppers you will be able to tell the difference from the long horn because the short ones will only have antennas that are about the size of half of their body or less and then the long horned grasshoppers have antennas that are longer than their body or about the same length as their body let me know in the comment section below which ones you see the most. Something that I found quite peculiar about grasshoppers is that their ears are in their belly and it made me laugh thinking about me having my ears in my belly because I get way too hungry throughout the day <laughs> to have my ears in my belly. I would hear every ache, every growl, everything that I ate, everything that I drank, like that's just too much for me. I'm not interested in that, but I do think that that is very cool and very peculiar about the grasshopper. And most of you probably already know this because I think they teach this in school, but the sound that we all hear and we're familiar of is actually the grasshoppers rubbing their wing pads and their legs together or their legs against their wing pads. And that is that sound that we hear. Now, this is the dopest fact that I found about the grasshoppers. It is that they existed long before dinosaurs. It is believed, according to science, that grasshoppers existed over 300 million years ago during the Carboniferous, Carboniferous period, whatever it's called. I thought to myself, that is insane because their ancestors go back so far. Like, that's so crazy to me. I can't imagine having that many ancestors, you know? Maybe that's why they have such a wise presence such a, this wisdom that they carry with them is embedded in their DNA. Just like us, our ancestors' wisdom is carried in our DNA. Did you know that if grasshoppers and humans could jump relatively the same distance, humans would be able to jump the size of a football or a soccer field? Mind blowing. Mind blowing. Like I cannot imagine being able to jump the distance of a football field, that's crazy. And relatively, that's about how far a grasshopper can jump. I think that speaks a lot to the grasshopper spirit animal, being able to jump that far, being able to take a chance on yourself, being able to, you know, just be that powerful to jump the distance. So you guys are probably gonna hear a little bit of yard work going on outside, but I'm still just gonna finish the video anyway. But this is the most exciting part, the spiritual symbolism of the grasshopper. Yes! So the first thing that you should definitely know about the grasshopper spirit animal is that it shows up to let you know that you are about to experience a crap load of luck, a lot of alignment. Luck and alignment to me are the same Thing. They are the same thing because when you are lucky, you feel aligned. You feel like things are right. Things are happening for you. Things are great for you. And that is really just alignment. And the grasshopper is letting you know that the hard work, the foundations that you have put into place, that you took control of, is allowing you to feel that true luck and that true sense of alignment. So give yourself more credit because you and God, the divine, is why you are so lucky at this time, why you're going to be so lucky. It's going to be really good. You're probably going to get many opportunities. Many people are going to reach out to you. You're going to start finding random money all over the place. Like This is kind of what it looks like when you feel aligned or lucky. And it's going to be a great thing. Those opportunities that you've been praying for, asking for, they're coming to you. These foundations that you've been setting are really, really paying off at this time. 
So give thanks to the divine source and say thank you so much for this alignment that's being welcomed into my life. Thank you for this amount of luck and being blessed that's happening in my life. When you see the grasshopper spirit animal and it's calling out your name, you should definitely know that you are on the right path. So congratulations for finding yourself on a path that is in alignment for you. Give gratitude for your spiritual growth and maturity for finally allowing yourself to push through fear, doubt, worry, and finally working with the divine to bring you everything that you desire and deserve in your life. Remember that anything that seems like a challenge at this time is also an opportunity, an opportunity to get everything that you wanted, to work on everything that you desire to be welcomed into your life. Every single problem is always an opportunity. This opportunity is one that you have sought after for a while so that you can create the change that you have desired in your life. So take this opportunity and challenge. You, when you see it, are welcoming a new growth spurt. You're gonna be changing a lot. You're gonna be seeing things from new perspectives. You're gonna see the bigger picture of things. You're just welcoming a lot of this magic into your life and I love it, it's a beautiful thing. You may not be able to see this growth through your naked eye and you may still be facing challenges at this time making you feel like maybe you're not growing or maybe making you feel like you are stagnant. However, the divine can see your growth and the, the divine can see the big picture. So remember to take your mind, come back a little bit and be able to see all the growth that you have explored, all of the accomplishments that you have made lately. The grasshopper spirit animal is saying, although you can be stubborn at times, you are always willing to learn and that is why you're so amazing. It is a fantastic trait to always be willing to learn no matter who is speaking to you. And that's what the grasshopper is reminding you about. Remember to release worry and let your instincts finally kick in. Release those doubts and those worries. Just like the grasshopper can release those things and their instincts will catch up to them, allow your instincts to catch up with you. Allow yourself to listen to your intuition and your inner wisdom. Any short-term or long goals that you have, write them down. Make sure that you're documenting them so that you can give yourself more credit because you, especially if you're seeing the grasshopper spirit animal, you've accomplished so much in your life and the divine is saying, take time to appreciate those moments where you accomplish something and even reflect back on it when you feel like you're stuck. Reflect back on a moment where you thought that you were stuck but you never really were. That will help you to get out of any stagnation that you may be experiencing. Making sure that you're documenting your short and long-term goals will help them to become more easily obtainable for you because now you have a focus. Now you have a path instead of jumping from path to path. You have a path. Think of it very similar to a board game. I mean, if you were to roll the number four and there were no positions like on the board game, you wouldn't know where to go. But now that you are rolling the number four and there's actual positions that you can go, for four steps, it'll make it a lot easier for you. It'll actually make it obtainable instead of wasting your time thinking and worrying too much. You actually know where you're supposed to go. You actually know what you're aiming for. The third thing is that you are full of great wisdom. You're so intelligent. When you think of the grasshopper, they're so intelligent. And even thinking about how many ancestors they have, how long they've been around, Clearly they know something, like they're so smart. I mean, even for them not to be extinct and them to have lived that long is insane. At this time, you may be facing a crossroads, but the grasshopper spirit animal comes as a reassurance that you can handle it, that you're smart enough, that you have much of an instinct to handle things such as what you're experiencing right now. This crossroads may seem like it can't get out. I totally understand it. I have felt this so many times in my life where I was like, I can't get out. I don't know what to do. There's nothing I can do. But the moment that I said that there must be a way is when I found one. So remember that there is always a way for you. You will always find the path that is meant for you. You will always find a way out of places that you feel stuck as long as you believe that it is possible. As long as you believe that you will find a way out, you always will. 
Remember that your intuition is an inner gut feeling. It is a truth within you. While your fear will always have a reason, it will always come up with BS that just does not resonate with spirit. So listen to your intuition, listen to your instincts, listen to your gut. The way that you can practice discernment is by spending much time in your own energy without you know doing it so you can run away from stuff, but doing it because you set aside time to listen to your energy, listen to the divine, set aside time that is spiritually for you and your spiritual development. And that is when you're gonna learn discernment. You may be one of those people that always heard from people you are wise beyond your years, and that is because you are. You have this embedded intuition, this embedded something within you that is so magical. It's like God can speak directly through you. That's where that wisdom is coming from, and not many people can connect to God that vividly, but you can, especially if you're seeing the grasshopper spirit animal or you're drawn to it. You can hear the whispers of the divine. You can hear the the animals that are in nature you understand things that people have never even thought of trying to understand you are very powerful so trust your power and trust your intuition and that wisdom that god has gifted and put upon you the fourth thing is i'm possible that is the word if you didn't already know or put it together impossible but nothing is impossible when you are working with something so sourceful something so magical something so powerful and you are working with god the divine source you're working with the all being okay so you have the power to do anything trust that you can trust is a huge part of life and trusting yourself your inner spirit in the divine is so important to get through hardships to get through things that are not, are not even hard for you but just get through life period think about how the grasshopper can relatively jump as a human if they were human the size of a football field that is supposed to be impossible but the grasshopper does something like that the grasshopper does do that so we can do that too we can jump the distance we can believe in something as magical we can believe in something as infinite if we so desire to. So stop saying things are impossible. Stop saying that you're stuck. Stop waiting for someone to save you. You have the capabilities. You are possible. It is your destiny to follow your heart's truest desire. So don't let your destiny down. Five is you're going through the human metamorphosis. You're going through a huge transition right now. When the grasshopper shows up, you're about to experience massive change in your life. A lot of these spirit animals show up in a new journey of your life, and it's because it wants you to know what your journey is kind of going to look like. So during this grasshopper journey, you're going to be experiencing a lot of wisdom, a lot of truth about yourself. You're going to be learning about your new self. You're not going to be the same. Some of you may be women that are pregnant and then after you have your baby that's you're gonna see you know this grasshopper letting you know you're different now you've changed you've seen things you've experienced things all of you guys are gonna be having that same feeling that same emotion i've seen things i've experienced things i've gone through things now so just bear with that listen to that and remember that your journey doesn't have to look the way that you think it doesn't have to look like someone else's journey it is your journey your destiny your truth so accept it as what it is. Number six is that you are a survivor no matter what the challenge is. So anytime you face a challenge, remember, like I said, that it is an opportunity for you to see your great strength, to see your great wisdom, and to be empowered by it because God knew that you could handle it. Remember that you have the power to overcome any obstacles and any challenges. You are pure greatness. Number seven is that you are also a light worker. You're amazing. You want to know why you're a light worker though? Because no matter how many times you've messed up, you are always aiming to be better. That makes you a light worker. Even though you may be hard on yourself because of your past mistakes and you really carry them heavily, allow yourself to release them and forgive yourself. Please forgive yourself because you deserve it because you were always trying to make the world a better place. And we all mess up. We all literally screw up. But you are light worker because you're always trying to be the best version of yourself. You're always trying to learn more about yourself so that you can experience a better version of yourself. So give yourself kudos and be proud of yourself because you are amazing. No matter how many times you mess up, you're always aiming to learn. You're always aiming to be better. So give thanks to yourself. Continue to heal yourself because that 
is what makes you a true healer. Healing yourself first is how you can heal others. And the last one is that you are free to be whoever it is that you are. No more judgments about your past self. No more beating yourself up for whoever you were in the past. You are who you are now. And that is your destiny, to be who you are now and to be true to yourself. Not only that, but also allow yourself to experience freedom from your day to day. Allow yourself to explore your different passions, your different hobbies, because that is what freedom is. Freedom is when you identify who you are and you feed that version of yourself. And if you love to do art, make sure that you are doing it often. Make sure that it is a part of your daily life. That is your freedom. So allow yourself to feel that. Embrace what makes you you. That is your freedom. Self-identity is your freedom. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video about the grasshopper spirit animal. I hope that it helped you to really understand yourself and understand what the world is trying to tell you at this point. It is really loud out there, so I'm like talking louder and it's getting louder, but... <laughs> But if you like this video, go ahead and like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. And if you want to check out my book about trauma forgiveness, then you can go to my website, lenamysticoracle.com, and check that out as well. And right now, my bookings and sessions are actually 50% off. So go ahead and check that out as well. I love you guys so much. I hope to see you again in another video. And let me know with an emoji below what video on spirit animals you would like. And remember, if you want to see the blog on this video, then you can actually click a link that's in the description box and it will show you the full blog that you can read in depth about what the grasshopper spirit animal means. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in another video.